So I got this charger control here for um, uh, this is actually for Nissan Leaf, uh, but it's the Type Type Two one, um, <clears throat> and it, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I've connected it to uh, my 230 volt main, uh, and I've just unscrewed this one. Uh, and uh, if I wiggle it a little bit around, you can see that it is <laughs> powering up. Um, this I've had this problem on this exact um, uh, FCB4, so I actually assumed that it was the same problem. The problem is that to get it waterproof, this um, nut here uh, needs to be tightened quite a bit, uh, and um, it got, gets a lot of wiggled around here, and then eventually the, the leads will, will break off. Um, one of the difficult things about these types of um, uh, connectors, no, EVSE, is that they have these really difficult screws. Um, it's a Torx with a little tap in the middle. Um, and I don't have that type of Torx. You can buy them, of course, but it's not the standard type. So what I've done or done before, is to use my little Torx screwdriver, put it in, and give it a little whack with a hammer, just to get that little pin in the center to get a little bit down, uh, and then put quite a lot of pressure on downwards and screw, and then it will get out. Get out. I need two hands to do that, so I can't film it. Um, and I'll, now I'll just unscrew everything and I'll show you how it looks inside. Okay, so I've opened it up now, um, or unscrewed all the, all the screws. Uh, there is a gasket um, around the cable box. Um, um, it might be a little bit of a struggle to get out, off, but but it is fairly easy. Um, before I go into the internal workings of this, uh, I want you to pay attention to uh, this is a uh, 230 volt um, uh, connector um, at 10 amps. So uh, when replacing um, this cable you need at least 1.5 um, square millimeter cable or better. Um, most um, cables that are kind of um, that type is often just one millimeter. So make sure that you have that you that you're using uh, at least one point five millimeter, a square millimeter. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this one with a, um, a little bit longer one, because I think the reason why it keeps breaking, or I've done so at least twice, is that um, it's it's too short, so when you connect it, you kind of like get it, it, it kind of breaks off a little bit every single time. So, I'm going to give it um, a good maybe 60 centimeters, make, just to make sure. That is not quite legal, uh, at least not here in Europe. Um, this cable cannot be more than 30 centimeters, but I'm gonna, I think no one's gonna arrest me for doing so. Okay, so, um Let's just have a look inside here, and this um, type of box here is not anywhere as complicated as the the, the original Nissan's um, box, because on that one you can't actually replace it um, the the um, the cable without really having a big fuss. Or um, yeah, but here it is very very simple. Uh, <laughs> it is just these three cables here, oops, these three cables here that you need to to replace. Um, it's very simple. These three here goes into this cable here. Very, very simple. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna just do and, and 